Hey friends, welcome to my channel. Hi, if we have not met yet, my name is Laura. I am a stay-at-home mom to three, almost four kiddos, and a wife to a truck driver. Um, and today we are just going to take a quick trip to the grocery store. So I figured it might be nice to see what it looks like me traveling with my three toddlers to the store. Um, I will say most of the time I do curbside for most of my groceries, but I do go into the store to actually do the produce. Um, so this is kind of what that looks like. We just came back from um, some graduations this past weekend, so I just need to stock up on a few things. This isn't my typical grocery size, but <laughs> this will at least get us through to the next budgeted um, meal prep. So obviously I've got some almonds for my almond milk. The kiddos uh, love their fruit, so I stock up usually on strawberries. And right now Genesis is loving blackberries, so I wanted to make sure I got plenty of those as well. Josiah loves his bananas, so we definitely had to stock up on those as well. Um, oh my gosh, she just threw those in. Um, I will say that usually when I go grocery shopping, I have a list. So like I said, I do most of it um, on curbside. Um, and then when I go into the store to actually do the produce, I have a specific number of items that I need. Um, and this just really helps keep down our costs for groceries each week or every other week. Other than um, diapers and toiletries and stuff like that, um, produce actually does take up the biggest portion of our budget um, and I actually prefer it that way because then that means that I'm making sure that we're getting plenty of our fruits and veggies in that we need. <laughs> She's so sweet. She just loves being loved on and this was actually the moment where she knocked out my AirPod <laughs> and I spent like five minutes trying to find it. It was kind of embarrassing. <laughs> Not really, but... So going to the grocery store with three toddlers can be a little intimidating and a little frustrating at times, but um, I try to keep it fun for them. Um, it, it, it doesn't always end up that way, as you'll see soon in the video. But a lot of the times I really try to keep it interactive, so um, sometimes you'll see Josiah helping me load up the basket or emptying the basket when I get to the register, things like that. It kind of keeps him engaged and um, kind of aware of the things that we need in the house, which is nice. Um, Genesis and Zeke don't quite get, get along sitting next to each other. They're both very kind of territorial, so I needed to get some conditioner because Genesis loves getting her hair washed. <laughs> she's starting to get tired. She's up, she's so over it. She's starting to get so sleepy. She wants to lay her head down. Oh my god, she's so cute. Um, but yeah, so this was our quick little trip. We didn't really need a whole lot this time around, which was nice. Um, but we got home and the kiddos took a nap um, once I unloaded the car. And this is just me putting it away. But that's it, guys. There's nothing super, super crazy about this video. I just wanted to show you our quick little trip to the grocery store. Um, I think at some point I am going to do a more in-depth video of the things that we typically get and how I meal plan, how I meal prep for our family, our growing family. Um, but this is just me putting everything away. At some point I'm going to clean and organize. It's just usually when I get back from the grocery store, I'm so exhausted. I have very little energy between the two the three toddlers and the one pregnancy <laughs> I don't have a whole lot of extra energy and of course I always end up forgetting something so that's it guys thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day and please like comment and subscribe for more if you like this video bye the only thing worth it to live for